Today let us solve a problem on shafts. Okay. Here we are going to design the shaft. Here is the shaft which is mounted between the two bearings. This is one bearing and this is another bearing. The shaft is mounted between the two bearings. Okay. And this shaft is provided with a pulley at B, another pulley at C. Okay. So here this pulley is going to drive another pulley which is directly below it. In this problem, this pulley is going to drive another pulley which is directly below it, like this. Okay. So this is the one pulley mounted on the shaft, and below it there is one more pulley. So it will this pulley is going to drive the another pulley which is directly mounted below it with the help of belt. Another pulley is mounted at point C and it is driven by a mounter, a motor. Okay, this side the motor is there. Okay, so the motor is going to drive this pulley with the help of a horizontal belt. Okay, so here the shaft is mounted between the two bearings A and D, and this shaft is provided with two pulleys at B and at C. Okay. So this pulley is going to drive another pulley which is below it and this pulley is driven by the motor which is mounted to the right side and this is driven with the help of a horizontal belt. Okay. So now we need to find the diameter of the shaft. To, do, to find the diameter of the shaft, so let us solve the problem step by step. Okay. So the dimensions or the distance of the pulley to the bearing, left bearing is 200 mm. And the dimension or distance of this pulley to the right bearing is 300 mm. The total span of the shaft is 1 meter. Okay. So here this pulley is driving the another pulley which is below it like this. Okay. So hence the tension will be acting between the belts. So since it is driving the another pulley there will be tension present in the belt. So let us call that tension as T1 and T. Right. And WP1 is the weight of the first pulley. WP1 is the weight of the first pulley, okay, which will be acting downwards. So T1, T2, and weight all three will act downwards. Whereas here WP2 is the weight of this pulley, which will be acting downwards. Whereas T3 and T4 are the tension in the belt because of the horizontal mounting of the motor. Okay, so here motor will be mounted here in this place and hence the belt is driving uh, the belt is pointed in the horizontal direction and tension will be acting in the horizontal direction so I have shown the arm like this okay T3 and T4 so hence we need to find, find the value of T1, T2, T3 and T4 okay how to find let us understand here in this problem he has mentioned the diameter of the pulley 1 as 500 mm and weight of the pulley as 1000 1000 newton and diameter of the second pulley is 300 mm and weight of the second pulley is 500 newton okay and the angle of contact between uh, the angle of contact is given as 180 degree for both the pulleys and mu coefficient of friction is 0.24 and the shaft material is having the properties of field strength as 235.4 mpa and ultimate strength is 425 MPa and tension in the first pulley is given as 3000 newton. So this is all the data given. He has given the data about the diameter and weight of the first pulley. Similarly diameter and weight of the second pulley, theta and mu and the material properties of the shaft. Okay. So using this data we have to find the diameter of the shaft. Let us first go for the calculation of tension. Consider the pulley at B. I will consider this pulley. This is the first pulley. Okay. Let us consider this pulley. For this pulley, we know the ratio of tension as T1 by T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta. T1 by T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta is the ratio of tension between the two pulleys. Now T1 is given as 3000 newton. Substitute T2 is unknown. E raised to mu theta. Mu is the coefficient of friction. It is given as 0 0.24. Mu is 0 0.24. Such so the same. And theta is 180 degree. He has given the theta as 180 degree. So 180 converted into radius. 
pi by 180 multiply with pi by 180 so you can find the value of t2 as 1411.5 newton if you calculate this you will get the value of t now so total vertical load acting on the shaft due to first pulley the first pulley is uh, giving the weight of its own weight vertical weight uh, that is uh, weight will be acting downwards okay so weight of the first pulley t1 and t2 so like this this is the pulley this is t1 and this is t2 and the weight weight of the pulley one okay so the total vertical is t1 plus t2 plus its weight okay so i have added all the three weight is given as 1000 newton tension in the belt is given as 3000 plus this value 1411 t2 so total it becomes the total vertical load on the shaft is equal to Five four one one point five newton. Okay, so if you add all the three values, it comes to be five four one one point five newton. This is the total vertical load acting on the shaft due to the first pulley. So this pulley is providing you. This this pulley is putting a weight of T one plus T two plus W P one in the vertical direction. And is there any horizontal load due to first pulley? No. Because this pulley is driving the another pulley. This is the one pulley. Below this there is the another pulley. It will be driving in this direction. So there is no horizontal load at all. So horizontal load on the shaft due to first pulley is zero. Okay. So this is zero. This is about the vertical load and horizontal load of the first pulley. Okay. So how to calculate the torque? Calculate the torque using the formula difference in tension multiplied by radius we can calculate the torque as difference in tension between the belt multiplied by the radius of the pulley so t1 value is given as 3000 t2 is given as we call we calculate it as 1411.5 into 1 into radius of the first pulley radius of the first pulley is 250 Calculate the value of the torque. This is the torque on the shaft. Now let us go for pulley at C. I'll consider this pulley. So what are the weights and the tensions acting on the shaft due to second pulley and let us see so here is given the problem that you can consider the torque on first pulley same as the torque on the another pulley so you let us use this concept to find the for the tensions okay so torque on the another pulley is i can calculate this as same similarly here i have calculated as t1 minus t2 into radius of the first pulley for second pulley it will be t3 minus t4 into its radius okay so the torque we got here as 397125 and t3 is unknown let us keep it as it is radius is known radius of the pulley second pulley it is done this 300 so radius becomes 150 So if we simplify this, we'll get the expression for T3 minus T4. T3 minus T4 will be two six four seven point five newton. Okay. So also we know that. T3 by T4 is equal to e raised to mu theta. Okay, so mu value is known, 0.24. Theta is known. Convert it to radians. We'll get it as 2.125. So T3 is equal to 2.125 T4. 
Now we can substitute this value in this expression. Okay. So T3 is equal to 2.125 T4. So let us substitute this value in this expression. Okay. So T3 is equal to 2.125 T4 minus T4 is equal to this one. So if you simplify, you will get the value for T4. How much? It will be. Now we know the value of T4, we know this RHS value, we can find the value of T3. Substitute the value of T4 here to find the value of T3. This is the value of tension T3 and T4. Okay. Now we got the value of T3 and T4. How they are acting? They are acting in the horizontal direction. Okay. So I have shown T3 plus T4 in the horizontal direction. Why? Because this pulley is driven by the motor which is mounted horizontally. Okay. So the belt is running in a horizontal direction. Okay. Hence it is shown in this direction T3 plus T4. Okay. So this is the total horizontal load acting on the shaft due to this pulley that is T3 plus T4. Let us represent them in the diagram. This is the torque diagram. Torque will be acting between these two pulleys. Okay. So the torque value is this much you can write down. 39715 is the torque magnitude. Just draw a horizontal line and show the symptom of scale this magnitude of torque between these two pulleys. Okay. Next, we have to draw the vertical load diagram and horizontal load diagram. How to draw this? Let us understand. 